everybody. Today I'm going to make you a three and a half minute card using the new Floral Wings host set from Stampin' Up. This is a multi-step stamp and it's very easy to use and very fun. I think you'll like it. To start with, I'm going to show you just the little rock and roll trick you might be familiar with for the vase. I inked it up once in baked brown sugar, and then you'll see me just roll it on the ink pad just to pick up a little shading. This is a very quick and easy way to do shading on more solid images. This vase has a cute little polka dot pattern on it. Quite adorable. Now when I put the card together, I ended up actually doing this again in black and gluing it on top of the vase because you'll see with the background paper that I picked, it's black and white. It's from our new Neutral Patterns Pack and it has the cutest handwriting on it in white. So I just decided I wanted my vase to match. Now I'm taking just a small post-it note and I'm masking off the top of the vase because I'm going to use this long stem image and I just don't want to stamp on top of the vase, obviously. So I have these little tiny square post-it notes that came in the mail that I just love. Okay, now on the rose stamp, you'll see that little tab on the stamp image. And that tab is what helps you align the flowers and the leaves. So I'm just generally going to have it pointing straight up when I stamp my flowers. And then as long as I align the leaves with the tab pointing the same way, it will be easy to figure out where they need to go. I love these little bright kind of graphic flowers. They're so cute. So here's the leaf stamp, there's the tab. And then you just, you know, you're lining up the leaves with the flowers, obviously, but then you need the tab to point straight up and down like it did when I was stamping the first time. And once you figure that out and it kind of clicks in your head, you can make multiples of these very quickly. And now you'll see I have the little leaves perfectly positioned around the flowers. Now there's a small filler rose as well, and there are some places on the stem where they've left space for these little roses. You can see an empty stem right there and some surrounding leaves. And so I'll just fill those in. And of course you can add more wherever you want. Oh, hi Maddie. Whenever I do a voiceover, Maddie thinks I'm talking to her. And so she feels the need to contribute something. Thanks, Maddie, for contributing to my video. Now I'm going to mask off the stem, the main stem. When I use this little smaller stem, I wanted to connect this one rose to the main stem because I thought it looked like it was just floating out there. But I didn't want the stem to go past the main stem. So that's just quick and easy. Now I'm using Versafine in the greeting from the set that says just for you. And that little space where there are no flowers over on the right seems perfect to me. So I'm going to stamp just a little bit over the floral element for my greeting. And here's what it looks like with the black vase on top and that adorable background paper. I just love it. I'm going to hoard that, I can tell. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.